Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, I am going to start right now. So give me a second because I'm like moving things because it was raining here and it's kind of weird. So we are in session number four. We are ending this uh, week. It's going to fail the connection because I'm going to change um, the connection that I have right now. So give me a second. Okay, I think it's going to uh, work better right now. So I was saying that we're going to begin with this session number four. Uh, we are in the uh, last day of this week, number two. And remember that we are going to work on the platform because you need to complete your activities there. So uh, I need you to complete section number three uh, because you, you know that um, they are evaluating the uh, the work that you are you are doing on the platform. Así que eh, recuerden que siempre al final de las eh, de la semana ustedes tienen que completar lo que es la sección que corresponde para ese día. Así que eh, tienen que trabajar en la sección número 3 de la plataforma. So let's begin right now. Yesterday we were talking about um, compound nouns. That was the topic that we were developing uh, yesterday. So we're going to continue with that part. We're going to continue with the vocabulary. And then we're going to continue with the other topic that we have for today. So. We were talking about compound nouns and you can, uh, if you can remember, uh, we were like talking about the different ways to create compound nouns and what are the compound nouns in reality. Um, we were saying that the compound nouns are words that uh, we can use to form a new one, a new um, meaning, and also we have different like components that we were uh, using to create those compound nouns. Uh, we have nouns and nouns, nouns and verbs, nouns and adjectives, noun and preposition. Then we have um, the single word compound nouns, the separate words and the words with hyphen. So in that case, we have different um, words that we can use to create compound nouns. And now we are going to continue with that vocabulary. And then we are going to write the Spanish meaning of the words. So let's begin with that part. We are going to end with the vocabulary. That's this one, this table. So we're going to add 12 more because we have 12 uh, more words. I mean, there are not 12, there are like uh, 36, I guess, or six, seven, eight, nine, 10, I mean, 11 and 12. So, we are going to continue with this one and then we're going to talk about the Spanish meaning of those words. So we have here, coward, house, aircraft, and eggplant. Then we have dishwasher, 
dishwasher. Then we have billboard. Footprint. Then we have another one that we have Bobcat. Rainbow. Drying pipe. Then we have raincoat. Fourteen. Brainstorm. Get away. Trow Bridge. Railway. Draw string. Breakfast. Grapefruit. Briefcase. Sailboat. Driftwood. Scarcrow. Rush Hopper. Bulldog. Greenhouse. Drive away. Seashell. Drumstick, I mean drumstick. Buttercup. Away, and I will delete this one because I need to work on these Spanish meanings right now. So we are going to see if we can delete this one or we are going to like have them there. So I'm, I will let those here. So we are going to begin with the. A Spanish meanings of those words. So I know that you have like the knowledge of some of these words because you uh, know the meaning of them in Spanish. So there are a lot of words that you can just say, ah, that is the a meaning of this word. For example, with the first one, backlash. Who knows what is the meaning of backlash? Reacción. Reacción. Sí. 
Mm, no. Backlash. Back es como de atrás. En ese caso no sería como algo que esté atrás, sino algo que se regresa. Backlash. Okay, in this case we have different uh, meanings, but we are going to use one. En este podemos utilizar contragolpe o un contraataque. Backlash. Contragolpe. Then notebook. This one you know what is the meaning. Libreta. Libreta o también lo conocemos como Cuadernos. Cuaderno. Very good. Cuaderno. Cry baby. What is cry baby? Como llanto de bebé. Sí, pero. A alguien. Eh, a person who cries a lot. Es un nombre que se le da a las personas que lloran mucho. Llorón. Llorón. Very good. Llorón. Cry baby. Oatmeal. Creo que esto ya lo han escuchado mucho. Oatmeal. Avena. Mm -hmm. Very good. Avena. Firefly. Another one that is very easy. Eh, fuego. Bombero. No, bombero. Bombero. It's an, in, uh, an animal. An insect. Very Es una. Luciérnaga. Good. Luciérnaga. Firefly. Then we have Banjar. Como. Patio. O como. Cerca. Es una. Es como una cerca, muy bien. Cerca o corral. Ajá. Es una cerca o un corral. Esta, esta sí es la que ustedes decían. Fireman. Bombero. Bombero. That is bombero. The fireman. Then we have cutthroats. What is that word? Who knows? Mm. Asesino? Yes. But they like to cook. That is kind of a, of, of ugly word, but in Spanish we can uh, translate it into degollador. And we have like less common uh, words like implacable y feroz. Esas son como las menos comunes. Outdoors. Outdoors. No. Puerta trasera. Puerta trasera. Mm. O puerta de atrás. Mm. Mm. Si estamos hablando de una puerta, ¿para mm. dónde va a dar esa puerta? Para... Para afuera. 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 Entonces Ajá. le llamaríamos a esto. Salida de escape. Mm, no, no, le llamaríamos el exterior o al aire libre. Outdoor significa afuera. So, en este caso le vamos a poner exterior. Third mm. ah. Hay un, eh, I guess it is a, it is not like a superhero, but we have Dark Devil in, in, in a movie. Es, es como mercenario, temerario. Oh, temerario. Podemos utilizar el temerario porque también tenemos atrevido. Temerario. Baseball. Juego de pelota o... o... Béisbol, en este caso, nosotros lo, lo, 
no es tan diferente eh, from English. In this case, it's like the way we write the word, but in this case, it's baseball, like this, baseball. It's the same thing, almost, almost, almost. Baseball and baseball. Then we have fishball. Pecera. 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 This one is very easy. Bathroom. Baño. Baño. Pancake. Pancake. <laughs> Un pancake. <laughs> That's very easy. Pancake. Dark room. Una dark room. Habitación oscura. Mm. Y esas sirven para. Para, para, para como revelar fotos. Exactamente. Son las habitaciones que se utilizan para revelar fotos. Cuarto oscuro. Very good. Password. Contraseña. Contraseña. Flashback. ¿De la cámara? Uh -uh. Como recuerdo. Exacto. Flashback. Flashback. Es un... Se le llama retrospectivo, pero lo podemos utilizar como un recuerdo. Ok. Because we have the word memory for uh, this word. Memories son recuerdos, pero el flashback es una retrospectiva donde nosotros empezamos a pensar todo lo que sucedió. Bedtime. Bedtime. Cama para dormir. O hora de dormir. Hora de dormir. Exactamente. Hora de dormir. Then we have full proof. Full proof. Infalible. Kind of, kind of uh, funny. Full. What is what is the meaning of full? Just full. ¿Han escuchado alguna vez la palabra full? A veces dicen, ah, esa está bien fácil, esa prueba de. A prueba de tontos. Ajá. A prueba de. Exacto, a prueba de tontos. A prueba de tontos. Prueba de tontos es el segundo prueba de tontos. Daydream. Daydream. Sueño. Sueño o alguien dormido. Sueño, pero. Soñador. Despierto. despierto, sueño despierto. Very good. Quicksand. This we can find it on the desert, and we can uh, see some movies in which they are like running on sand and they go down. They found arena movediza. Exacto, arenas movedizas. This one, butterfly. Mariposa. Mariposa. And then we have tapeworm. Lombriz. Worm. Lombriz. Lombriz. Worm es lombriz. Es lombriz. Solitaria. Muy bien. Está solita la lombriz. Then, dust pan. And this one is for cleaning and it has like, um, if I say the word in Spanish, you are going to find it very easy. It's something that you use to clean. It's kind of long. Plumero. 
Excelente. Recogedor. Recogedor o plumero. Very good. Teardrop. 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 Lágrima. Lágrimas. This one is a lágrima. Es como una uh, gota de lágrima, pero in, in this case is lágrima. This one. Herbit. 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 Latido del corazón. Latido del corazón. Catfish. It was a, a program. Call it Catfish. Vida para gato. No. Mm -mm. In this case, pez gato. Mm, pero también lo conocemos bagre. como bagre. Bagre. Yes, bagre. Household. House. Hall. Casa de ahorro. Mm, just the first word. Banco. Uh, just house. No. ¿Cómo se llama ahí? La... Just house. No, es el domicilio, la casa. Casa familiar. Uh -huh. Es la casa, el domicilio donde ustedes eh, residen. RH. What is this? Oh, yeah, I'm feeling pain. Dolor de oído. Uh, dolor de oído. This one. Charada. Almost. 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 Cucharilla. Yes, es una cuchara para para té. Uh -huh. una, cuchara una cucharadita. Té. Es una cucharadita, es una cuchara pequeña. Son como las cucharas de té que son pequeñitas. Cuchara de té. Let's go, let's go. We are almost done. Air drum. Ear drum. Ear tímpano. Yes, tímpano. Chairman. Chairman. No es un nombrecilla. Presidente. Yes, presidente. Iceberg. Es un uh, glacial. Es un, uh -huh. un, tempano, un tempano de hielo. Sí, se puede traducir como un témpano de hielo, una pieza gigante de hielo, pero también lo llamamos iceberg en español. Es lo mismo. Iceberg. Checkmate. Checkmate. Es como correo. Oh. Jaque mate. Jaque mate. Jaque mate. Jaque mate. Oh, jaque mate. Good. Checkmate es jaque mate. Jaque mate. Very good. Undermine. 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 Socavar. 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 Earphone. Audífono. Yes, un auricular, audífono. Vineyard. 
Viñedo. Where they ah, viñedo. Viñedo, donde tienen las uvas, ¿verdad? Inland. 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 We were, we were talking about outdoor. And outdoor is el exterior. And inland is exterior. Interior. Interior. But in this interior. case, yes, es en el interior, pero no de una casa, sino en el interior de un país. Así que inland es dentro de la, del país. Por eso es land, tierra. Then we have another one. Cheesecloth. Lo del cuerpo sería in body. ¿Cómo? Si fuera para describir algún padecimiento interior del cuerpo. Inside sería the body. In body. Uh -huh, in body or inside the body. Mm. Cheese cloth. Cheese Tela de queso. Le llamamos tela de queso, pero cuando es una, en, en el paquete dice las. Láminas. Las K. Es las K de queso, las, las tiritas, oh. las laminitas de queso. Pero lo podemos determinar como tela de queso porque son las delgaditas, ¿verdad? Tela de queso. Jigsaw. Jigsaw. Rompecabeza. Rompecabeza. Yes. Rompecabeza. Earring. Sonido. Mm -mm. You like to use on this part. Arito. Ah, that's good. Waistline. This is a part of the body. What is the waist? Cintura. Cintura. In waistline. Cintura. La li. Línea de cintura. Línea de la cintura. Con la silueta de la cintura. Earthquake. This is another very common. Earthquake. Terremoto. Yes. Terremoto temblor. Chopstick. Uh, Asian people use this to eat. Palillo. Palillos. Keyhole. Key. Keyhole. Keyhole. I cerradura. Have cerradura. El ojo de la cerradura. Clockwork. Clockwork. Ese es el mecanismo de, lo, de los relojes o de la relojería. Aparato de relojería. Yes. Wallpaper. Wallpaper. Fondo de pantalla. De pantalla. Yes, es el fondo de la pantalla y también le llamamos papel tapiz. Fondo de pantalla o papel tapiz. Earthworm. We have una, una solitaria por ahí, pero in this, in this case, the earthworm. Lombriz. Es una lombriz de? De tierra. Uh -huh. Lombriz de tierra. Yeah, we have a lot of ones. Workshop. Taller. Yes, taller. Nika. 
Mica. Eso es, es gorra, no. Uh -uh. It's a part of the body and is in the... Uh, rodillera. Rótula. Rodillera. Rótula o rodilla, rótula. Copycats. Copycats. Imitación, copiar y pegar. Imitador. Imitador o imitación. Ladybug. Mariquita. Mariquita. Globo ocular. Globo ocular. Worldwide. Es. Hay todo el mundo. Todo el mundo. Then we have courthouse, court house. In this uh, place uh, is related to lawyers, judge. This one is, is a juzgado. Uh, aviones? Yes, aeronaves. In the eggplant. This is a vegetable. Un vegetal. Berenjena? Ajá, uh -huh, berenjena. Dishwasher. Dish. Lavador de platos. Uh -huh. Lava platos. Billboard. Tablón de anuncios o cartelera. Cartelera. Good. Footprint. Footprint. Una huella, una huella. Bobcat. Bobcat. Campamento. Is an animal. Es un gato, pero no es un gato doméstico. Gato Montes. Good. 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 Drain pipe. Tubería de drenaje. Es agua. Raincoat. Impermeable. Yes, es un impermeable. Fourteen. This is a number. Catorce. Brainstorm. Rain, storm. Rain, storm. 
Vida. Brain. Brain. Brain es cerebro. Yes. Storm. Ah, bueno, idea genial. Lluvia de Buena idea. Ideas. Idea. Lluvia de ideas. Get away. Página um, web. Um, Puerta inglés. And gateway is like a puerta, portal. Drum bridge. Puente elevadizo. Oh, very good. Es un puente elevadizo. Railway. Yes. Drowsing. You use it in your shoes. Cordon. 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 Breakfast. Very easy. Desayuno. Desayuno. Grapefruit. This is a fruit. Uva? Mm -hmm. No. It's like an orange. Ah, uh, toronja. Yes, toronja. Briefcase. You use it. Maletín. Yes, of course, maletín. Sailboat. Um, Sailboat. Velero. Velero. Es un velero. Driftwood. It's a piece of wood that you find on the ocean. Um, madera. Madera. Flotante. We have three, six, nine. Just nine words more. And this vocabulary. We have a scarecrow. Brush hopper. This is a, an insect with long. Yes, Bulldog. In this case, it's the same thing. Es la raza de un perro, no. Mm -hmm. Es la raza de un perro, solo que en español no le agregamos una L. Solo es Bulldog. Pero es una raza de perro. Greenhouse. Greenhouse. Mm -hmm. No. No. Es. Mm -hmm. Um. This, this kind of. Invernadero. Invernadero. Drive. Como el. Como el. Como el. Eh, entrada de coche o entrada de carros. Uh, the place in which como tráfico. No. We, we the people need to walk on the street. 
Es como calle. Yes, it's like a street, but the people need to walk in that place. ¿Dónde, dónde está como el paso de cebra? Um, paso peatonal. Ajá. Mm -mm. No. More like a short space in which we need to walk through the street. Pasarela, no. Mm -mm. In this case, we have like. Es para los carros o para el peatón. Es como la acera. En este caso, es como la acera. Y también le podemos llamar calzada. Seashell. We find this on the on the beach. Seashell. Concha. Concha. Drum stick. This is for. Baqueta. Mm -hmm. Drum stick. Baqueta. Play the drum. Buttercup. Buttercup. Botón de oro. Yes. Es un botón de oro o ranúnculo. En hallway. Vacío. Vestido. Vacío. So, in this case, we have our vocabulary here. And if you can see, many of these words we use in our daily speech. Los utilizamos para hablar. Eh, son bastante comunes. Muchas de estas palabras, pero son palabras compuestas. They are not like uh, single words in this case, or uh, single nouns. In this case, they are um, using two different words to create one new word. That is the base of the compound nouns that we use different nouns to create another uh, word with a different meaning. For example, fire is fuego. Fly es una mosca, pero si lo juntamos y si ponemos firefly, es una luciérnaga. No podemos decir es una mosca en llamas, porque no tiene sentido. En ese caso, le da un significado diferente, igual que cry baby. Cry es llorar, baby es bebé. Pero, ¿qué hacen los bebés mayormente? Llorar para comunicarse. So, in that case, le decimos llorón. So we have different elements, different words, and we uh, make the union uh, between those words and we have these new words that are the, um, the compound nouns. We are going to listen a conversation on the platform in which we are going to apply um, those uh, compound nouns. So we're going to go to the platform and we're going to listen the conversation. So give me a moment. So in this case, we are going to listen to uh, the pronunciation. We are going to listen Next something related to the pronunciation of the compound nouns. So I'm going to share the screen and the audio for you to listen this information.
of nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drug store. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is Whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now we turn to practice. What I would like for you So in that video basically is uh, explaining uh, what is the stress that we can give to this uh, to the words? Um, it was saying that the topic of the stress is a long topic, and it is true because in that case you need to talk about pronunciation, you need to talk about vocalization, uh, you also need to talk to talk about the tone of the voice. But in this case, it's just to put a stress is the the tone the the is. Um, a strong sound in a word. And um, depending on the context or uh, the um, how are we feeling in that moment, we are going to um, put some uh, stress on some uh, places. Las palabras por sí solas ya tienen un estrés en, en específico o una eh, pronunciación en específico. Pero depende también, porque eso tiene que ver con el tema de eh, el tono de la voz, la vocalización, el, todo eso, el pitch, todo eso. Depende también de cómo nos estemos sintiendo nosotros. Así vamos a eh, ponerles también un, eh, como un esfuerzo extra a la palabra. Pero en ese caso solo es la práctica de cómo hacemos para pronunciar lo que son las palabras. So, I'm going to show you uh, another video that is the preposition of place, and then we're going to write the, no, the name of the prepositions and what are the uses that we can give to the preposition of place. So, let's go to see the uh, next video about preposition of place.
Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn preparations of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. 
Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location Corner. Esquina is corner. So in there, we have the audio in which we have the prepositions. So in that case, um, he was like using a map in which you are going to find all of the names of the prepositions. But I have another one that is an image that I'm going to uh, put on the document because in that case, I'm going to um, write the name of the prepositions. That is a, uh, like an image in which you can find the name of the preposition. But le voy a poner una imagen en el documento para que ustedes lo vayan viendo eh, despacio, ¿verdad? Donde van a encontrar los, las preposiciones. En ese caso, ahí es, les dice para qué se utilizan. Between es para utilizarlo cuando tenemos dos eh, cosas. Between es cuando tenemos dos cosas y among, porque son diferentes, es cuando tenemos más de dos cosas. Pero en este caso vamos a utilizar eh, las más comunes, que son in, on, at, above, after, by, beneath, next to, beside, near, close to, between, among, in front of, behind, across from, opposite, under, below, over, and then we're going to have like examples in which cases we can use every preposition. For example, in, this one is uh, talking about uh, places, all of them is used for talking about places, but in is used for the largest and most general places. And you can say that I live in London as a child and he's a very famous uh, person in Chinatown. Así que in lo utilizamos para lugares más grandes, ¿verdad? Eh, o que son muy generales, Pero toda esa información se las voy a colocar en el documento para que ustedes tengan toda la información sobre las preposiciones. And we're going to end the session, but remember that you need to work on the platform. You need to be um, uh, complete with the section number three. Así que si no han completado sección número tres en la plataforma, vamos a tener que trabajar en eso porque se les está... Eh, revisando su progreso cada fin de semana. O sea, hoy es el fin de la semana, no el sábado y domingo. So, we are going to end the session and we are going to see each other on Monday. Have a really good night and a really good weekend. See you the next week. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.